Hi YouTubers, welcome to one of my videos. Doing some work to do with ham radio. And this is my vertical antenna matching coil I made. And it's made from uh, a garden table leg with a coil wrapped round it. And I use this grommet strip, which is this stuff, and I glued strips along it that way so that to uh, stop the coil from shorting out and it works extremely well but it's quite large so I've decided to make a smaller one and this is it and this is what I've done and um, I've learnt um, another way of doing it so rather than run it this grommet strip which doesn't glue very well vertical I've bought enough of it and actually wound it round like the wire and what I've done I've drilled a, a hole through the grommet strip like through there put a very small nut and bolt each end and held the strip you know this stuff and then using garden wire I've wrapped it round and it makes a, a far neater job then um, trying to glue it that way around and so what I'm doing now I'm using a hole saw to cut out some wooden ends to fit down the tube and these will be used uh, for the uh, top connector here and hopefully I can drill that out and then insert a, a joining M10 for the top coil but I'm going to see if I can get this drilled uh, to suit um, the bottom which is where the um, the ground plane and um, counterpoise radials go so that's what I've done I've, I've cut that out with a hole saw through a piece of hardwood like that cut it out I'm going to, to do another one, but I'm going to see if I can actually knock it in into the tube without splitting it. Well, that's another bung cut out of this solid piece of wood. I managed to knock one in the end of the coil there. I'll get one in the end and I'll drill it from the sides here to put some screws into the wood. Uh, I can cut the plastic down like I've done that one so I've got a nice coil and it's a hardwood anyway this is not for permanently outside so it's just for my portable aerial setup okay so there we have the loading coil and um, I've made some bungs to go in the top and bottom which are um, a solid wood hardwood and so that's the new coil and this is the old coil it's got the discharge resistor for static there I don't know if you can see it this works very well actually it just looks ugly this will be the new one there'll be a, a socket there so 239 or BNC on this one might be might go for BNC and uh, this is a telescopic aerial here so I'm quite pleased with that it's a lot neater than that big one anyway so that's uh, thanks for watching um, part one and uh, I'll do some nano VNA um, plots uh, when I've got it all finished Thank you.